yeah. following your dreams is a lonely, solitary, scary, dangerous pursuit. You can't wait for somebody to think you can do it. Mm -hmm. And it's like, they, they, because they don't think you can do nothing they can't do. Exactly, bingo. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, it, it's a lonely, scary, dangerous pursuit and you got to be willing to risk everything to become that seed of what you believe you gotta be is in there mm -hmm. you got to be, be fearless. fearless you got to be relentless everybody has dreams and and and, and as much as you you, you want to be able to listen a little bit because somebody's going to give you a gem but you nobody knows but you you can't get advice on what you should do with your life right nobody knows what you are like even even sometimes you don't really even know what you what you are you got to take your shot and it, it's like as much as you want people to agree and you want the people around you to be supporting your dreams and all it's not going to be like that all the time you got to do it alone and people will help you and once you when you get the ball rolling people will jump on but if you don't believe nobody else is going to believe people come along because your belief is so insane that your belief is so strong that makes people be like, yo, this crazy ass. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, grow or die was the basic central premise that we were working with. That if you not, if you don't grow, you will perish. There's there's one relationship that you have to maintain, and that's the one with you, right? And it's like if if you're not loving you, if you're not taking care of you, everything and everybody is second to you taking care of you. First and foremost, when you are steady and calm in yourself, it makes it easier to manage the insanity that other people are gonna to bring to you. The core of how things are created in the universe is through collision, mm -hmm. you know? So you gotta be prepared to collide if you mm -hmm. wanna create something. Mm -hmm. Only sustainable mission throughout your whole existence is to improve lives. And as soon as I made the shift in my mind from trying to be big and trying to have money and trying to be popular to making sure that I improved lives every step, step of the way on this earth, then all of a sudden I started experiencing healing.